All right, so first thing you're gonna do is apply your primer. Once you pull it out, you're going to wipe off the excess because you need very little product, okay? Wipe off the excess, and then you're going to start in the middle of your lip, swipe it left, right, left, right, and then smoosh your lips together. And then we're gonna sit here and chat for a couple of minutes because I wanna give this a good two minutes to get tacky and ready to receive the color. So this is, again, a green chemistry. It's utilizing fermented desert date oil. What is green chemistry, you ask? Green chemistry is when you take a natural substance and manipulate it on the scientific level, like with the molecules and all of that fun stuff, to perform as a non-natural product. So by using this desert date oil and fermenting it, it gets it to perform like um, a synthetic item that we would otherwise find in other lipsticks. But because it's green chemistry, it is actually a natural substance and it feels wonderful on your lips. All right, so again, we're gonna pull out the color. And just like with all Posh products, very little goes a long way. Do not apply this DOFA applicator to your lips before you have wiped off most of the product. You need very, very little. This is called a doe foot applicator, all right? So a lot of people were confused about what the doe feet were. This is a doe foot applicator. This is love, love the wine you're with. Love the wine you're with. It's love the wine you're with. Love the wine you're with. So again, I wiped off most of the product. I'm gonna apply it the same way that I applied the primer, all right? Smoosh, smoosh, smoosh. And just like yesterday, if you mess up, you just use your finger and fix it. <laughs> and it's fine. Love the one you're with. When you're using a dark color, outlining your lips with concealer or lining your lips with a lip pencil is really going to help that color to stay put within the confines of your beautiful lips. Um, it's not necessary, but it really will help a little bit. And so when I was wearing Love the Wine You're With Vial in Las Vegas, I did go ahead and line my lips with concealer just to keep it stay put. Because I was wearing Vial for like eight to 10 hours and I really didn't wanna risk it having any kind of bleeding. That's what it's called is bleeding when it's gonna go into those fine lines. Does it have that dry feeling? Absolutely not. I use so many different lippies, all of the big brands, la 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 la. They all have different qualities as far as how much I need to apply lip balm throughout the day or whatever. Vial, it must be the green chemistry, it keeps my lips moisturized. I did not need to apply a lip balm or a lip oil or anything throughout the day at all ever. Now, I would not say that Vial is 100% transfer proof. I would say that it's transfer resistant. I would say after a couple of hours, if I'm drinking from a coffee cup or something, I'm going to see the lightest bit of lip color on my cup, um, but it's not coming off of my lips. Um, if I kiss my hand after it's been on for a good five to ten minutes, I'm going to see the lightest little bit of lip marks, but not a full-blown kiss mark. Now if I put the gloss on, that's going to give me that glossy look, but it's going to reduce the wear. It's going to reduce the wear by at least half, and it's also going to make transferring a lot more prevalent. You're going to get a lot more transfer if you use the gloss. I will tell you, it doesn't hurt to pick up the gloss because the gloss is an amazing lip moisturizer. You can use it by itself at night before you go to bed and it's really going to nourish your lips and feel just like a lip oil. It's definitely a long wearing liquid lipstick. It's going to last you a good eight hours. Maybe you might need to touch it up. Maybe you won't depending on what you eat throughout the day. Um, 
but it feels so good. I, that's the biggest thing that I love about these lippies is that they feel nourishing. They feel great. I don't feel like I have a lipstick on. And when it take, when I take it off, I don't feel like I abused my lips all day. They literally feel like they had a lip balm on all day long. So I super recommend it for that reason. I'm super excited to get all of the other colors. So today we demoed both the color sticks and the vial. Uh, the primer and the color. Love the wine you're with. And this is the finished product. Cha cha cha. <laughs> if you absolutely love a glossy look, then that's fine. Put the topper on top and just know that you're going to reduce the wear a little bit, a little bit when you use it. Well, a lot bit by like half. Um, but that goes for any lipstick whatsoever. If you're using a gloss on top of a lipstick, it's always going to reduce that wear time. All right, so I have, how long has it been? I think it's been on for about eight minutes now, maybe nine minutes. So let's do a kiss test. I'm kind of nervous to do it live. Okay, so again, there we are. Can you see? Can you see the lips? You see a very faint lip mark here. So again, not 100% transfer proof. And I'm pressing pretty freaking hard. You've got a little tiny bit of lip right there. Um, let's try to press a little lighter. Oh, so if you just give a little bit of a peck to your hubby or your loved one, you're not going to get much transfer at all. So here and here are the first kisses when I pressed really super hard, and here and here were my little peck kisses. But most importantly, the color is still totally on my lips. Okay, so this is a full face. I started with just my foundation and I finished with the color sticks and with Vile. If you wanna recreate this look yourself, you can pick up these products right at jessicaposh.com. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss another Jessica Posh video. Thanks for watching.